And the Palestinian ambassador to Nigeria, Abdullah Shawej, has accused the state of Israel for targeting women, children and medical staff in the ongoing genocidal war staged by Israel in response to the October 7 killing of Israelis as a reprisal attack of the long killings and oppression of the Palestinian people. He says malnutrition is ravaging the Palestinian people and food and relief aid from foreign and donor agencies are being disrupted from getting to the people by the Israeli forces in a move that defies the ICG ruling. An estimated 9,000 women have been reportedly killed by the Israeli forces in Gaza to date. This figure is likely an, un an underestimate, as many more women are reported to be dead under the rubble. Every day, the war in Gaza continues. The current rate, an average of 63 women will continue to be killed. An estimated 37 mothers are killed every day, leaving their families devastating and their children with diminished protection. More than four out of five women, 84% report that their families eat half or less of the food they used to before the war began. He also accused the United States of escalating the war by supplying Israel with weapons and other logistics to continue the assault on the defenseless Palestinian people. The most desperate need for the Palestinians is in the north, where they are completely the starvation there in the north itself. When the United States of America making this some uh, uh, air dropping, while meanwhile instead or, or parallel to each meal, they are providing the Israeli occupation with at least one ton of explosive measures and explosive materials and weapons, this is uh, something no one, no rational one can accept it. And we are as a Palestinian also did, could not and will not accept it.